and we're away. You know, I just watched that episode. Um, she gutted the guy like he was a bloody sheep hanging from the hook. <laughs> yes, like a sheep. It would have been more like a gelding by the end of it, I suspect. Karen. <laughs> and that was before Karens were invented. Yeah, exactly. It, it even looks like a Karen. It's fantastic. Oh, and she's singing. Oh, it's Karen Carpenter. <laughs> it's the ghost of Karen. I remember this was one of the first courses I ever played and I had the worst time here ever. I just thought this game is rubbish and I've just made the same mistake I made in oh, yeah, it. I, I do remember we played here very early on and there was also another course that we played at some point which was just horrific. Ooh. You know, we went off any time off the fairway and you were up in trees and out of bounds. It was just fucking... The yeah, even though I can't remember its name, I know the one you mean. Yeah. I, reckon. And I can't remember it to, to save myself. We might have to go back there one day as well, maybe with Andy. It better be the... Oh, you've hit the seven wood, smart. It's not going to help. <laughs> I think... Oh, what's it going to do? Oh, oh, I might have a gap. I think you might. It's not that far out. I reckon you might. I reckon you're okay. I'm not sure I am. Oh, oh we're going to find out. I might be already liking it. It's going to be interesting. Oh, what are the conditions? Uh, Stim 14, hard fairways, normal grain. Okay. If that stops there, I'm happy. Is it going to stop there? Ooh. What about going down it? Right. I'm doing a giant super draw. Yep. 91 club. It's not easy to super draw a 91 club. You really have to work it hard. Not too bad. It'll do. I'll take it. Pleased with that. So remember the day you were getting crashed at best tops after checking for updates? Yep. And, and then I got the same thing? Yep. And other How people, other people got... It came good? Sorry? How long did it take before it came good for you? Well, I just did those things that you recommended. Yeah. But um, I took a copy of my config folder or whatever it was, and um, you know, I just copied that back. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, so, because, yeah, I don't know if you did the same thing, but by getting rid of that config folder, it basically sets the game up as if you've never played it before. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't. I actually uh, did a full rebuild and a fresh install from scratch. Um, but I, I didn't bother doing it until WU6 came out. Okay, which was only a day and a half later or whatever it was. I but no, I all, as I say, all I did was just um, copy the file back and it was fine. Yep. So it was like nothing had ever happened. Oh, well, yeah, anytime you need IT support, I'm always happy to help, Dave. Eh? Mm, champion, champion. <laughs> the only thing was that we got there and complained about the cloud version being out of sync with the local version or something. Yep. Yep. That was the only, only thing. 
as it would. There's even white stakes all over the place, so there's out of bounds in power as well. Oh, ooh. okay. Oh, no, that should be all right. I was thinking you might not have hit the driver there, but I reckon you did. Just into the wind. Oh, I'm happy to tell you what I hit after you've had the drive. I did hit the drive. I don't think we. Are we yeah, we are in range. You're far better off. 224. It's a perfect five wood. Which I don't have, so I'm going to have to make the. Make the seven wood do it. Now, uh, with the headwind, if I maximum loft the three wood, in fact, if I maximum loft it and super draw it in, that takes another five yards off. It might be far off. Super draw it too much. That's going to work out all right. There was three yards left. Oh yeah, that was that was a horrible shot. <laughs> Wow, great effort. Well, yeah, I was not going to hit the 250. That's just crazy. And that's not going to have enough. Don't plug. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been a terrible plug. You'd never have got over that lip. It's too yeah, high. No, that would have been very distressing. And now you've got that nasty shot with the 84 foot sand isn't enough, but then it gets awkward. They get really weird after that. Oh, 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 hang on. So it's giving me the 86 foot. I don't want the A6, I want the 84. You can never trust what it will give you out of the bucket. No. I always have it. Oh! What a genius! <laughs> I believe how good that was. Wow. Impressive, eh? Oh, luckily for me, there's no arrow showing at all, so... No, it's, it's, it's got to be straight. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, the trick is to always try and aim for a two-putt. Exactly. It's more about pace than direction. Mm. Oh, I've got the pace right. Wow, well, straight as a die, that one. It wasn't, though. Didn't look well, it didn't look straight at all, did it? I would have been throwing it out to the left. The left? Yeah. That's crazy talk. Yes, it is. Oh, we're owning this Karen course, Dave. It's not difficult at all. <laughs> So I've had this chair for maybe three or four games. Since. Yep. And have you heard many issues with it? Oh, I haven't heard it at all. You, so should, you should ask Gary if there's any more of those available. It's all too late. It's finished. They're all gone? The, the He's out of the building. Yep. That's a shame. Ooh. Left, kick left, not right. You little bastard. Oh, that's fucked me big time. That could be tricky. I might not be able to get on into it. But is it a, it's a par four? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Not, yeah. Interesting. More interesting for you than me. I don't really know where this is going to go. Probably going to end up in the same spot as you. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no! 
There's white posts. Oh. You're gone. <laughs> You're gone. Oh, that's a disgrace. Oh, I had no choice but to, to re-hit. Uh, come on. Oh. <laughs> I'll place him the out of bounds. Just don't go behind the wooded tree. What's your percentage loss? Sixteen percent. That's not too bad, I guess. But mm -hmm. should be able to make it with a tailwind, I guess. No. Oh, oh Jesus! That better not be out of bounds as well. No. It could have been. There's white posts everywhere. Mm. Jesus Christ. Right, 18 percent power loss. Maximum loft the three wood. That lip is pretty low. No. Oh. Said you should. I can't even try wood now. No. You're still you're still in the box seat, Dave. I'm I'm a fifth shot and I'm still eighty seven out. Good. <laughs> oh no, don't oh, go. No. Oh my god. No, it's oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, the Karen course. <laughs> I didn't even know that bunker was there. I should have done the F5 and had a look. 91. Oh. 91 yard is not enough. It might be. Oh, I don't know. White post just behind this green. Mm. You're, only, you're only three meters from out of bounds. Yep. <coughs> oh my god. I can't afford to take on that lip. I've just got to splash it out. It's not like distances to choose, though. No. Head in the back of my mind, what if I get a flyer? I could have gone straight through that thing. Oh, oh, how would that but you don't get flyers from flood lies, so. That looks good. Bounce, bounce, check. Oh, magnificent. I'm shocked that you're only going to pick up one here, Dave. I keep getting excited because I, I run the pole when I see no deviation. <laughs> you'd think that by now you'd know that there's no... I know, but it's so ingrained. I'm sure I'm staying inside left edge. I'm not getting sucked in by false break. Nice. 
Well, you, you could have easily picked up three or four strokes there. I'm pleased well, that you only like picked that. up one. Right. Huh. It's possible one stroke is an unassailable lead. Just... Don't worry about the panic. It's oh, just... that, that's a different line. But... Okay, back on schedule. About everything. Good, good. I've pulled it. Perfect distance to oh, that, God damn it. That pin is in a nasty spot. This is gonna be the worst part ever. This could be a mile short, or it could be genius. <laughs> oh no, that's rubbish. Well, it's even worse now because it's on the green. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. I'm, I'm... It's, you're kind of on the right level. Oh, that's getting worse. Well, I'll give you some line. I'm coming from the same direction to prefer to away. Oh, far out. How am I supposed to work this out? Okay, got a theory. I've got to hit 37 feet, 24 inches uphill. And then it'll trickle down to the hole from there. If it oh, gets up. on the right side of the spine. No, no, I look like an idiot. Uh, oh my God. At least it's your go. Yeah, now it's your turn. I'm going to learn from this too. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's 28 foot up 24 inches and that drops down a little bit. Hmm. Not a lot. I've no idea. That was good information. All right, again, it's just straight down the hill. What else could it be? So have you um, watched any more iCarly episodes? No, Dave, I've decided it's absolute rubbish. It's yeah. the worst show ever. So ICD is no good. ICD is no good. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Lord! Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's crazy.
behind you. Come on, don't you dare. It's perfect. <coughs> Gee whiz. I'm reading a fantastic book series at the moment, eh? Yeah, science, yeah. Science fiction called The Three Body Problem by a, a Chinese writer. Um, Gee, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's empty. It's, Fascinating, uh, the subject matter. So, so is it, is it being translated from Chinese to English, or he's written it in English? No, he got a really good quality professional translator to do it from Chinese to English because you know, it's, if I didn't get a really, really good one, the book would be shit. Well, so that's it, you know. Okay. Yeah, so, and he spent a lot of time and money getting that right. But the premise is fantastic. So, in the late. Hang on, I can't hear you. Go and get away from these seagulls. Just... They should be quieter now. Is that no, better? But, but, but I can hear them as well. I've got the seagulls in my ear. Well, that's at your end then, because mine are at zero. Correct. So you good now? No. Just have your shot and then we'll be away from that, the seagull spot. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a great line. Very dangerous. Danger is my middle name. Oh, damn it, I can still hear him. But anyway, okay. Talk away. <laughs> well, you could turn your own background sound down. Oh, man, this is so scary. No, no. Yeah. Keep talking. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you get this shot right first. It's, I don't want to distract you. Oh, Jesus, I'm actually terrified of this shot. Yeah, you should be. Oh, no! Uh, goodbye. Bye-bye. Now I don't want to talk while I'm having my shot either. <laughs> Theory. So many ways to fuck that shot up. Yeah, lovely. Oh, uh, is it? 
<laughs> yeah, so anyway, the premise to this book is that um, a Chinese uh, researcher that worked in some, you know, data collection lab from the stars, blah, 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 oh. they just listened for sounds and trying to find out artificial, you know, alien intelligences, blah, blah, blah. But um, she stumbled across this theory where she could use the sun to magnify a transmission sent from Earth. Right. And even though she didn't get permission from her bosses, because she knew there's no way they would do that because it was like 1960 and you know, political correctness and everything was really strong then in China. But she just said, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And so she did it sneakily. And she sent this transmission and it magnified the transmission's strength via this method where she slung it sort of via the sun by a factor of about a million. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so it got out there really strongly and was just travelled at the speed of light. Blah, blah. Anyway, it just so happens that in Alpha Centauri there's a solar system where there's three suns and there's a civilization there that keeps growing and then being destroyed because these three suns cycle various ways and sometimes when they're aligned in a certain way the planet becomes too hot and everything dies yep. and other times everything is too cold and everything has to hibernate and they literally dehydrate and then hibernate so they're like a dead thing and then when the conditions come back they they recover and anyway the civilization has come and gone come and gone and been completely destroyed many many times but the dna still has stuff in it that lets them sort of recreate the society reasonably fast yep. anyway so they're on civilization like twenty-one thousand or something and this signal comes in from earth and they can't work out who it came from or how many years it took to get there because obviously it's just come to them they don't know it would come from a close star or a fast star, they just know they received it. So they reply with a benign sort of message to see if they can get a, a reply. Yep. And they know it might take eight years, ten years, a hundred years, they don't care. They're just gonna they're just looking for somewhere to go that's better than their shit shovel system. Okay. So they get a reply eight years later from Earth. Yep. And now they they can triangulate and they can work it out and they know that it's our solar system. So they decide to devote all their resources into building a fleet and then sending it to Earth to kill us and take oh, our planet, so which is much, much better. Than it's like an invasion fleet, yeah? Okay. Yep, yep, they, and every single resource. And, and they do things like, if anyone can't work productively anymore, they're dehydrated and burnt because that's energy they can use. <laughs> What's the project? <laughs> They're full on, they're coming for us. Yep. And, and they devote an enormous amount of resources, almost half their planet's resources, into two protons, which they unfold by nine dimensions and build a supercomputer in the protons, two protons only. Yep. And then they send them to Earth at the speed of light. And they used almost all the energy the whole planet had to do that. But because of quantum entanglement, once those two protons are on Earth, then they can communicate almost in real time because of quantum entanglement. And so now they've got their foot in the door and they use those two protons to sabotage our super colliders because they want us to stop improving our technology because they know if it, it's going to take them 400 years to get to Earth. Yep. And they, they know that if it takes 400 years, we're going to be in front of them by the time they get there. So they use those two protons to sabotage our super colliders, but they can also use them to communicate in real time with Earth. And it's, it's a very complicated story, but they decide to get in contact with various people and try and build a religion around what they're doing because they're trying to act like gods. Okay. Yeah. And of course that's going to work. <laughs> it does work. It works spectacularly well. And so now that they've got all these big, slowly growing their supporter base on Earth, 
<laughs> we're all going to be killed anyway once yeah, they get yeah. there. But it doesn't matter. They just want to do that so they can get more information on what's going on here and see whether their sabotage of the soup gliders is going well and all that sort of stuff. And it all is. And, uh, it sounds it's interesting. fascinating. Yeah. Well, don't say any more because it sounds like a, a series I might be interested in reading. Yeah, it's great stuff. It's only three books. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, there's the turn oh, and I didn't hit it. Oh, ah. no. Just outside right edge. Well, I've gone from saying the course is easy to absolutely <laughs> kicking my ass at the moment. It's wiping our asses. Right. Look at these landing areas, they're not big. No. Well, I've lost two balls already. That's not I've grown a ball on the south. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If, if that was a headwind, you could easily go over that quick, I reckon. I mean, if it was a tailwind. Yep. As it is, that's perfect. This is going to get wet, I reckon. Oh no, get away, get away from this shit stuff. Perfect. Oh, I couldn't have walked it down any better. and I've got 21% power loss. <laughs> it's offering me to go f five metres forward. I don't think that's what <laughs> Fly it out of the water. Fuck. Now I know why we haven't played this course too many times. <laughs> I don't think we've played it since we first got the game. No, uh, we have. We've played it a couple of times. about that three book series mm -hmm. from Six and Lou, that's his name. Um, 
I had to force myself to keep reading because I wanted to bail after five or ten pages. Oh, I, really? hated his, I hated his writing style. I hated how the plot started. I hated everything. Um, but once I let my brain shift and adjust to a different cultural writing style, it was fine. But yep. he's writing from a Chinese mind's perspective, I guess. It, it was just very uncomfortable and difficult to adjust to. Okay. So, so, so what made you power through it? Because you heard about this, this series? Because so many people have said how awesome the series is, and it, I think it won a Nebula Award or some shit, so yeah. you know, main science fiction things. Good efforts. Really nice, though. Mm. So it's stayed up there, you want to move down? Oh! Yeah, and even better, there's not a single arrow there. Oh! oh! I was going to say, I think you gave it, you gave it, you know, break that wasn't true. <laughs> well, I thought, keep it just on the inside edge, and I certainly did that. Wow. Oh, you, you almost slung that past. <sighs> that was huge. I'm going to start watching Planet America again. Which, um, I used to think it was an interesting show, but then I suddenly got bored with it. Yeah, this is with the guy who used to wear the um, D-Gen or the Chaser or whatever it was. Yeah, 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 those guys. And yeah. they just do commentary on what the fuck's happening in America and how crazy the whole place is, which is completely correct. Well, they are. They're, they're super crazy at the moment. Mm. But it's interesting reading, like the New York Times, which is a very left or liberal newspaper, mm. you know, compared to what Trump likes. It's the opposite of Fox News. But even they're saying Biden is a really shit president, but they don't mind that so much because it might lure Trump into running in 2024. Oh, and they, they, think, they reckon he's going to announce that any day. Yeah. Because because Biden seems so bad, they think he'll run for sure. But they think they can beat him, um, and so they kind of want Biden to be bad so Trump is lured into running. Yeah. Well, there's a big chance that the Santa's might win. Well, that could happen. Yeah. Okay. It's a bunker contest, eh? Coins. Yes, coins. Uh, 44, okay, I don't think I'll take these ones here until change here at all. Make that very acceptable. It's even better. Oh, it's E! Oh! Oh, oh. oh. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> Who would have taken it? I can get the power on any hole on this course. Is that's a job well done. Well, it feels like 
in six or eight over is probably going to win. So maybe we're adjusting and we're getting back and towards the course. Who knows? What the? F this is stupid. <laughs> I cannot believe where that. Are you going for it? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I don't think it's possible. I reckon you're fading around that town. You're going full Andy. Uh oh. No, that's not. It might be okay. It, I think it's got through the. If it's got through those bushes, you're fine. <laughs> I'm definitely going around that town. Right. It's almost the perfect distance to do it. Just not getting it right. Right. That's it. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Jerkiness? Or not? Some. Yeah, I'm getting lots of jerkiness. No, I'm not getting a lot, I'm getting a little bit. You've got the other one with the snow. Super snow. Super snow, indeed. Right. Take that. Still got a putt for birdie. As you will. Bunch of Triffids about six inches behind me. Yeah. Uh... Good luck seeing your backswing on this one. I can't see it. Sense it. That's alright. 87 foot. It's just going to be a um, super pop. Stupid view. Gotta be big to be to be right. Gotta be. But how much? That much? It's gone. <laughs> Maybe not. How could it go that way? Come on. Saw the roll after the hole. Really? Yeah. I reckon the, um, the shadow. Yeah, there's, a, there's a flux capacitor on the green. There is. I'm going to hit this putt 
at 88 miles an hour. That should solve all problems. Oh! <laughs> Really exciting. Oh my god. This is just crazy, this course. Mm. <sighs> so even though we don't care about her anymore, Dave, Landry's latest TV series has just been Yeah, no, no, we talked about it the other night. Yeah. <sighs> With good reason. She's a shit actress. And a shit person. <laughs> oh, I, all I want to do is say respect the landry, but I'm not allowed. <laughs> right? Oh, you managed to get away with that one. Did I? Let's see. I did! <sighs> That's because I'm a good person. Yes. Good person. <laughs> It's the 170 in. I don't reckon. No, maybe I'll flop the 183 in instead. Yeah. Yeah. Glad I made that change. Impressive. Blow. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. There's no chance to pick one up. Oh, that is a lovely shot. Really nice. Still a chance. <coughs> yep, yeah, it's a pity for you. This is dead flat. According to the BLI, it is. Oh, oh and it was actually sort of breaking back, wasn't it? There was no way you can see subtle breaks like that. It's impossible. No. And that, that's where this sort of reflects real life. Is even in real life you can't see subtle breaks like that. Yeah. So what you're saying is it's turned us into hacks. We always were hacks. We've used the BLI as a as a crutch. All we need, all years. All we need is a, a bunker mod that makes us take four to get out of the bunker, and we're just like real life. Yes. Um, okay. Right, well, hopefully I can stay out of the fucking rough this time. I keep pushing, I keep pushing out to the right. I've done it again. There's more white stakes, but you're safe this time.
Pull the left. Oh, that's going to be such a problematic shot. No, well, as is yours. Oh my Can you god, go for it? no, I can't go for that, surely. I can, but I'm just, I'm playing that badly. You wouldn't want to get it wrong. He's going for it, and it's a beautiful looking shot. Considering I actually aimed left to take the water and everything out of play, gone straight over it. Yeah. Physically, I have far more guts than you, but mentally, that was great guts. Straight at it. Really nice shot. Not a super chip, straight in. There's no arrows. Again, because it was good distance, it doesn't matter. No. All about the distance. I thought we were only for pass. <laughs> Can't do anything right. It doesn't make me feel any better being two behind you when you can't do anything right. But I'm going to pounce on this opportunity. Oh no, I'm not. You must have hit a fucking seven wood or something. I, I didn't even pay any attention to what you hit. I did hit a seven wood. <laughs> well, you're closer. That's about all you have going for you. Oh, right. I'm, yeah, I'm only one eight. Yeah, why not do now in the rough? That doesn't bother me. Oh, my God. My this shots is... could be like a... Even the longest dime might be enough. No, no, it'll be all right. It's a great line. 
Will it bound? Uh, of course, that oh. stuff is sand. Yeah. It's not fucking... Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> here's my chance. This is what I need. Four club leaves with nine percent. Say thirteen, so it's one twenty-one. So okay, so got a hit. Just gonna pull it out there. Oh, oh it needed no longer. Just gonna need a fancy super flop. No, oh, I'm in the sand. That's why I didn't go anywhere when I landed. Ah, it just doesn't look like a bunker. No. Up here because I don't like your chance of getting up and down. Okay, 26 feet. Gone the other way, and now it's gone down a swale. <laughs> well, that's good information. I don't want to go down there. So this is straight up, straight up. I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. No. <laughs> oh come on. That has cost you. <laughs> I suspect our putting stats are going to suffer over time, Dave. Oh, they will, absolutely. Especially if we're playing courses like this. Mm. But I reckon even with the BLI and Top View and all that sort of stuff, this is still a tough course. It's just a, it's a brutal course. I mean, when imagine when we play French Lick in these conditions, it's going to be a nightmare. Yes. Hmm. I've hit one straight. Yay! <laughs> straight into the ocean. Well, that would be the only problem. Lovely shot. On a part five, there can't be reefs in the <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm being served up plenty of historical documents tonight, and the amount of hair and fuzz is disturbing. Yes, it's just not something you see a lot of these days, is it? But sometimes I literally see shots from magazines that I bought in like 1979. Yep. In, like, it doesn't bring a tear to my eye or anything, but it's nice to see them.
you know, with the tail end, I would have had a crack. But no way. It's just not a way. Should, but I haven't. Right. I'm going to try the same shot you just hit. Some backspin with a hole. Oh, watch this. You can't get backspin coming out of the sand. I did punch it. How lucky was that? Must have worked out. Something on the back side here. Yeah? Best shot. Just done one worse than me. This sand there. Hmm. All right, let's get this. What do you like? Thirteen percent power is head and tail ones. Seven. Not so much one fifty one away. Seven now is one seventy. One sixteen percent. That's one fifty three. That's about right. I hook this in. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Which did strike from the end. Based on that, I'm just going to inside the left edge. Yeah, look what missing. Nice way to pick up two or three. Two. two. Well, I thought I was gone, but now I've got a little sniff, a little bit of hope. Yeah, there's so many holes left. Just like that, there's only one there. Yep. Well, like Karen's everywhere, don't they? They won't be. Drive, I'm still 217 now. And that's where the tail went. Oh no. No. Oh, there's land down there. You might get a free drop. There's no free drop. No free drop. No. Just mine. <laughs> what a shot. <coughs> I haven't given up. Right. 
Oof. All right. I don't know, I'm hemorrhaging shots. Yeah, well, it's called bleeding shots. Stop the bleeding. Somehow. Not my problem. And oh, it's a perfect five wood. Sorry about that, Dave. That's not tapping. line north bound Bill. nice shot well, at least it's up and it's an uphill cut too Do still <laughs> semi unconvincing.
few good drives. I'm assuming that was also a three wood. That was a three wood. I knew when it was time to go full under the day. some information as well. It was going gently left to right. Six inches to the left of the pin. Punch it and see if that gets there. I can see them. Some left to right shit there. There. Close. What do you get for close? Downhill with my legs the wall. Do it. No! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Zero inches. Uh, oh. We go to the last lock together. It's a short par four as well. Oh god. I don't want some bullshit shot in, I've got to hit something shorter. Oh he's coming off with Dave. I'm starting to wonder if I should hit something a bit longer. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think that was actually too bad. Because no, it's one twenty. Oh, okay. Because it's a sea of bloody um, white stakes out there. Yeah, you don't want to be on the wrong side of those. Oh no. I think you've got away with it. I have. <laughs> Somehow. It came off the club so badly. Mm. Well, to be honest, you don't want the 120 club here. It might be as if I flop the 134 and go straight at it, just a metre to the left, it'll be literally an earth baby. It. And I was wrong anyway. <laughs> it's a club wrong. Yeah, you're probably actually in the right spot there too. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> uh, it wasn't perfect. better. Well. Mm. I'd be perfectly happy to get down in two and shake hands and get the hell off the green. Yep. You've got an outside chance of sticking yours, but I'm just going to assume you won't. Let me give this my best shot. Oh, no. 
nice effort. You give me a bit of a read. Oh, I didn't hit the fucking thing. Oh! Well, I did hit it. It's just the line was wrong. So It's not a draw yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to go in. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Mm. I and think Karen it... lived up to her name. Yeah, I <laughs> she reckon... caused a lot of trouble. At only five over par, given the way we, when they're playing... I don't think that's actually a bad result. I agree. And and look how much we fought back on the back nine when we've sort of adjusted mentally. We did okay. Yes. Oh. Wow. Stats are going to tell them. 41-34 and you've gone 39-36. Incredible. Yeah. All right. What do we got there? Drives were, were shortish because we weren't playing drivers all night. Yeah, there was lots of Uncle Dave action. Yeah, and fairways hit. You know, really tight driving course. Mm. I'm, I'm not surprised by that at all. And then vicious greens when you got there. Yep. And look at that putting. It's not great. No. Oh, look at my scrambling. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Wow, indeed. Still, a lot of fun. Yeah, entertaining. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the course.